Hi everyone, welcome to Cineverse again, and I am your host as usual. I am Boluati Feonioshu. And before we continue, please pack well and pack yourself to that bottom of the screen and click the subscribe button. All done? Now we can continue. Now today I'm going to be talking about the movie of the hour and it is Citation. My first one-on-one -on -one contact with Professor Ndiari was after a tutorial class. Scholars, we are in the presence of academic royalty. So what's your name? Morini. I'm not asking for your all of residence, I'm asking for your name. Oh, come in me, more in me. Pour voir que vous aurez un souci avec votre voiture. Vous parlez français? Let's proceed. It was she who offered sex to me. She was infatuated by this man. There was no infatuation. She wanted to indulge me. You know what you mean, she showed more than you like. Chate mon ami. Bonjour, professeur. You become the poster girl for every woman with a grudge against a male lecturer on this campus. They all think they can swim until somebody drowns. Featuring Temi Otedala, Jim Jean Louise, Gabriela Falayo, Ajoke Silva, Iniedo, and a couple of other people now. Basically, the movie is about um, a bright student in Nigeria whose problem starts when she decides to you know go close to a professor who at the end of the day tried to rape her yes we have heard that we have heard this before B. yes we have anyways going forward now this movie the sequence uh, the movie sequence sorry opens up with uh, a boy and a girl or in this case a man and a girl where he's trying to solicit sex from her in return for upping a grade now she decided to take law into her own hands which ended in a tragic death and um we know the rest now two years later there's another student in that situation it's about um a bright young smart beautiful but unfortunately unrealistically naive student by the name moremi olua now she is really good she's really smart um she's in a postgraduate she meets up with this um there's this lecturer that came into their school is well acclaimed well read and you know she's like uh -uh, my smart attracts your smart and it's totally in a platonic way and i'm sure she was thinking well he's smart and um i'm sure that if he says i'm smart too it will point me in the right direction and yes it will make things easier and you know totally platonic and just academic and professional and all of that but unfortunately she drawing close to the professor and building some sort of relationship with him kind of makes everything take a dark turn towards the end where he tried to assault her now fast forward she's in front of a disciplinary panel where they are airing the case and i'm um, trying to figure out who is lying and who is not and yes at the end of the day something something happened but before we skip to that part i'm going to talk a bit about the character now jimmy jean louis plays the character of dr lucien ndiari it lucien lucien i beg pardon my french anyhow and he's well acclaimed he's well read he's smart he's handsome and all of that and yes he has students who are quite interested in him on a personal level and some who are interested in him on whatever other level but unfortunately he picks interest or should i say sets his eyes on this very young student who is let me just say on our way like blatantly on our way to all the signs that he has been throwing to her so somehow he found a way to you know manipulate the situation and he came into her life and continues showing up almost everywhere she is and yes still yet she's still blind to it she's still not sure what's going in fact let me just say she's not even thinking about it she's like linear and not paying attention to the signs that he has been sending her away which would have saved her a lot of trouble if she did now moving on talking about him as a character he played his character so well and for people who, have, who might be like eh well I remember him from Dr. Baylor. I'm seeing him here. I'm like, okay, yes, I can't wait to see how this turns out. And yes, I love the way he plays. He played his character um, from beginning to end, um, from you know the over friendly professor to the overbearing um, 
um, villain at the end of the day. Um, you know, the manipulative edge and all of that. Yes, I did love it and he did a really good job. Now, talking about... Um, our lead actress in person of Tammy or Tedola. Now, this is a debut as an actress or actor, whichever you want, potato, potato, anyhow. <laughs> and I will say I was not expecting so much. I did not hype the whole thing and I did not underplay it. I was just like, you know what? Don't judge. Let's just see how it goes. And yeah, she did a good job, you know, yes, carrying her emotions along. But I do have to admit that at some point, I kind of felt a disconnect from her character because most of the emotions she was going through, the roller coaster of emotions she was going through all through the movie, I really couldn't like see it on her face except in like few instances. I couldn't see um the places when she was really angry. I could like it did not really show like for example when um like I said I'm going to be giving a little bit of spoilers unfortunately. Like when they went to Cape Verde for the um field trip and all of that. Um I just did not see that, you know, there's this moment, tell me the truth, there's this moment when your boyfriend or your girlfriend breaks up with you. Let's know what do you feel? Exactly, and I did not really see that on her face. It just felt like every other line, and it just went like just straight like that. So it didn't really show um, a lot of emotions. And there were some other parts where I was expecting her to, you know, show her, um, her angst, her frustration with the situation. And yes, yeah, she did. She did try. I'm, I'm honestly speaking. I'm, I'm not an actress or an actor, so I know it, it, it takes a lot. But I'm just saying that like, it did not really carry through for a character. So it was not like overly. It was. It didn't really achieve as much as it would have but all in all i would say she did a good job in you know helping us you know navigate the different um scenes and the emotions that came with them then moving on to the third person i'm going to be talking about madame ajaka silver now she did an amazing job she wasn't over the top she wasn't under the radar she was just on point i loved her so much that like, there's this you know there's this thing that comes with um a, a fluent uh, veter a vet a veteran sorry a fluent veteran acting i was like okay i could watch this all day then talking about the character of gloria played by um Eniedo, at some point, I just felt okay. I'm sorry to I, I, let me say this. I felt they could have, they could have casted someone else if they wanted to. Not that she didn't do a good job, but I just felt mm -mm, she and that character just did not gel well. Although the sauciness was well, you know, the sauciness was well um, brought forward. I could see the sauciness in her character. We all saw that. Now the character of Quincy. In fact, I cannot pinpoint one problem. That character, mm -mm. he played it so well. It was, it was just there. It was on point. I liked him. His, his character was not everywhere. It was just on point. Then now I'm going to be talking about some other things too, and it's about the storyline. The storyline is one that um, it was. You could tell what was going to happen in the next. Or can you can tell what the storyline is all about? You can tell how it's going to end. Probably some of the issues we we're going to face. And though you yeah, be like, okay, ah, it's too predictable and all of that but i will chalk it up to the fact that it's a documentary it's based on something that has happened and something that is still happening so it was done in a way that it would be easily relatable to and they did not need to add you know extra fluff and pizzazz to it so yeah could they do more sure do they need to do any extra uh, not really so another thing that i'm thinking is there were a set of twins in that movie and immediately I saw them, I was like, mm -mm, hell no, this only happens in the American teen drama series or something like that. This does not happen here. No, really, it doesn't. I mean, come on, who has the time to be doing I'm so good. No, nobody. So yes, I felt they were just trying to inculcate some uh, bit of, um, you know, a different kind of, um, should I say emotion into it? But no, there was no need. I felt there was no need. They could have been less like sunshine and rainbows. I'm just saying. So I didn't really see the need for the character of um, the twins at that point in time. And also, another thing now, the old um, storyline and let me just say the characters, the storyline of the character is, there were a lot of places that were like really, really, really blatant, obvious red flags for Morami as a character, which she chose to ignore. Or should I say she was just blind to it. Like for example, you go with your professor to a park. And you're laughing about who does that? Like, no matter how friendly I am with a lecturer, I'm so sorry. The only conversation we are having is in the classroom and maybe on the way downstairs or upstairs into the class. I don't understand. It didn't make it realistic because <laughs> no way. There were a lot of red flags that could have been picked from there, but I don't know. Maybe she was just blind to it, or her head just did not open there. Then there's also the part in which, um, when she was trying to teach him how to drive, I'm sorry, sir, please go and get driving school. It's not expensive. It's not expensive at all. 
And imagine someone who is so far read, so far traveled, tells you he cannot drive a manual car and you fell for it. I can understand if he says he does not really remember well that he has driven, but he said he doesn't. I mean, come on, who was he? Who was he kidding? Ah, that lie was too big to be <laughs> to not to be noticed at all. But I don't know how and why it just flew over her head. Then also. The instant where she went to, you know, talk to him in his office, where she was working on her dissertations from chapter 1 to 3 or 1 to 5. In fact, that was the biggest flag. It took um, a conversation that was purely academic and turned it to something sexual. It was not subtle. It was very sharp. It's something she could, in fact, she could have bolted out. Sharp, sharp. There was no need to, you know, try and salvage anything at that point. You knew what his intent was. So the idea, I felt the idea at that time was to just move away. I felt if she was very strong, like very strong in a, you know, assertion of, okay, whatever this is, I don't want to be a part of it. And, you know, extract herself from the situation, from even the relationship of academics itself. I felt it would have taken the hint at some point. I know this is not always the case, like in real life with what has been experienced in academic institutions so far. But I'm just saying, it would, but she did not. She, she did not stand her ground. She's doing, oh yeah, stop it. Yeah, stop her. Be, okay, now I'm okay. Ah, you're yeah, still coming. That's what she was doing. I felt like, mm -mm, heck no. So I felt there are points where she could have actually stood her ground, but she did not. Then um, going to the party scene um, where she, she went to the restroom and she was the only one left behind. Funny enough, before I actually did, I wanted to bash that part, but then I was like, nah, it could actually happen. Unfortunately, it could happen probably by intent or just by um, um, something that was not expected. It could happen, yeah. So she ate something and she had to stay behind and was about to leave. But another red, red, in fact, red bull, red flag with the bull in the front was, it was telling you about the dissertation. Fine, you're happy. Express your happiness at a distance. But until you go and do, I'm so happy I jump on you. Unfortunately for someone who is as, I'm sorry to call the character of the professor <laughs> lizard brain as that, though he's very smart. For someone who has lizard brain as that, although very smart, I would say you are definitely sending him a wrong signal. You will take it as a green light of, oh yes, she's game and all of that. He tells you, he, as he says things, cues, and you're like, standing. Auntie, you're supposed to have already know that this is not... But anyways, uh, acting on that in, in that scene of, you know, almost being assaulted was on point. Like, it was so believable. In fact, I don't think I can unbelieve it. It was so believable. And talking about um, she trying to, you know, prove herself wrong and all of that. Now, the thing about, let me, let me go down to the uh, complexity and simplicity of Jimmy Jim Louis' character. You know, it was funny enough, it was actually saying the things that were happening. No, no it was actually saying the, the situations, the scenes that were happening. But the guy was smart or shy manipulative enough to change the narrative to suit himself. So everything that happened, happened. But the narrative he was given was actually different to what really happened. So yes, it was quite manipulative. And if not for the fact that she decided to go the extra mile to get her own witnesses and evidence, I'm sure the case might have been dismissed due to the, um, the standing of the professor, um, should I say, the lecturer. So yes, that is something that really is as realistic as it can get. Very, very. Lest I forget, another thing is, the scene, like I mentioned the breakup scene or something, the lecturer did try to kiss her and her sister still did not get the red flag. I don't understand. Okay, I understand the person that maybe they're trying to portray the character as being very innocent and everything, but seriously, seriously, no, 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 I, I did not, I did, I did not even know how to reconcile that, I'm sorry. Even if a stranger passes and tries, forgets I know you, tries to be like, I see, nigga, what's up? Is everything okay? But honestly, I just felt that was, I, for her, I feel she downplayed what could have happened in that place. So, then finally, I am going to talk about this. Now, this one makes me a bit. It made me a bit. Um, how do I say? I was like, ah. but then because it's, it's something that could be overlooked. Now, talking about um, the settings, I saw. I'm seeing like the kind of cars I was seeing. They're like all oh, these old car my 504 my jalopy and uh, my being too no, okay i didn't say being <laughs> but i'm just trying to let you know and then 
I'm seeing the latest iPhones, I'm seeing, you get, so it kind of made me feel like, oh, is there a time lapse somewhere? <laughs> but I, I know that there was no time lapse and everything, but just, that just didn't tally in the movie at some point. So basically, those are just these small, small things that I really just that just did not gel with me in the movie now i'm going to talk about the things that i really love aside from the few things i talked about earlier that i liked um this i'm going to talk about is one of them first off i love 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 the way in which they switched it in between um telling what happened and telling what is happening like the non-linear kind of um um presentation that helped us see oh yes um this is what's this person said but this is what happened I like where they're switching between it especially during the hearing though it had a slight issue of you know not all the parts in which they were doing the uh, back and forth had the markers to let you know oh yes the flashback era is over but all in all i think i just really liked that it was not it's not something that you see every time you watch a movie so yes kudos to them for that i enjoyed it and another thing i do love is first of all i, I, the, <laughs> I have to admit um on makeup they looked really good like they looked really 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 good yes and according to what i saw <laughs> auntie lola Maja did an amazing job yes i'm calling her auntie because she is an amazing makeup guru and i'm not just talking about but yes that's why i saw it i was like okay yes i can actually understand why they look so good and another thing i did like was let me just say the cinematography as in I'm not a camera person. I'm not a film person. Okay, I do love watching movies and all that. But the angles, I, I so, so love the angles. I'm like, okay, this is making this movie look like larger than life. And also the university, they use that. It's Obafemiolo University. I like the public, should I say the positive imagery they give it, the, the places they shot from or the places they shot, um, the settings. It just kind of had this uh, positive vibe to add to the school. So yes, I did like that. And another thing that I did love is... um. The soundtrack only the soundtrack yes yeah for those who do not know it has an album yes the soundtrack was really good i like the songs on it but the ones that were um sang by um i think piece of busted day i noticed some of the names yes and the one sang by the guy both in english and the one you um that's not in english i did love um the the songs and finally i jumped this one but i'm going to see it because it's very important talking about characters yeah one thing that um, kind of irked me, or should I say just made me feel some type of way, was the switch between um, French and Yoruba. Oh, please. I was like, no, 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 no. Should I just let them speak English and French and whatever language all through? Because making Moremi, that's the character of Moremi, speak Yoruba was like, I'm sorry, almost pulling teeth. I felt like the moment they realized that <laughs> Yoruba was not going to be as fluid, they should have just stuck to English, Pigeon. French, Portuguese, whatever they wanted. But they decided not to do that. But I will commend her on the French. It was fluent enough, yes, for people like us that the only thing I know is come out with uh, something and yes, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I, I, felt, I felt it was really good it was good and yes that's a, that's about it yes i i just loved the fact that they didn't use one particular language so yes finally finally Sha, all in all the movie talks about you know they was based on the old um sex for grades um thing that came up um where you know the soliciting of sex for the opening of grades unfortunately which is not always is never really something that is um on the student's volition so there's always a power play involved unfortunately and it talks about it it focuses it focuses on other also it focuses on other um, matters they were not like in the limelight but they were just surrounding and you could see them like for example the power play in a situation like that you can't really just you can't just be able to fight something that is bigger than you yes that's one of like i said that's why so many stories of other people will never see the light of day because once they get to where oh we have come to put the problem out to these people what did they do about it and unfortunately sometimes you can even see that sometimes they end up trying to fill the person or make sure that the person never leaves which was also seen in the film those are the like the the end effects of some of those things so what i hope for at the end of the day is that something can be done so that in the next 10 years the next five years we can boldly go to um an academic institution and not really have you know the fear of okay this could happen what would i do about it and all of that all in all that's what i have to say about the movie i might have missed some things i might have said some things i'm not supposed to anyhow <laughs> you can let me know in the comments section i'm open to seeing it and i'm you know taking note of all of them now this is the part where i rate the movie for all it's worth it's actually a really really good effort and i loved i love the attempt i love the effort put into it and i'm sure even to the smallest 
um, character extras or whatever, they did an amazing job, you know, in bringing this story to life and all, no, and all of that. Sorry. Now, this movie on a scale of one to ten, as always, I am going to be giving it uh, 6.2. <laughs> yes, I'm not. See, I'm you might be wondering why. Well, it's because there are certain people that you just have this standard for yes whether you know the kind of job they did on it or not but you're like when they do this i want to see this so yes that's just it i'm giving it a 6.2 for reasons best known to me or no best known to us i've said everything <laughs> so all in all that's that's just it about the movie like i said it's something if you want especially um for um parents it's actually good to watch to watch because it's not every parent that is aware of what their offsprings yes that's the word offsprings their children are going through in an institution of higher learning so this could help them you know have that mindset because they, they sometimes some parents even think that it is you know otherwise but at least this kind of information informs them educates them and all of that so yeah so yes all in all that's about what we can take for this movie thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching and like always let me know what you think in the comment section if i said too much i said earlier if i said um if i missed something or you think there's something that should be added to it or should be removed from it please let me know in the comment section i'd really like to know and do not forget to click the subscribe button if you want to join the conversation you can do that on every of our social media platforms you can do that on instagram at cameronboy.tv facebook at cameronboy official twitter at cameronboy tv ng and also you can like and subscribe to our videos on youtube at cameronboy tv you can also hit me up on instagram at swatifi underscore oni you can dm me if you want me to talk about a movie or i miss something i you know you don't want to be anonymous i can scream grab it you know epitome <laughs> just saying anyways you can do all of that until next time that i come your way guys stay safe and yes keep enjoying your movies cinemas are not there anymore oh no they're back all right guys bye